Ja. Ne? Schon mal sein, ja. Right, that's the uh, do with the trim those those wicks but they'll they'll do for today. See Lee Church now profiled on the uh, top of the cliff there. God, more lights have sprung up at Lee there. Or Wendy May. She's a 26 foot gaff cutter, 32 foot if you go to the end of the bowsprit. She's 8 foot 5 inch beam and 4 foot 3 inches draft. She's um, a good little packet, uh, a, a, a boat that can stand a fair bit of weather and uh, I um, bought her because she's suitable for these shallower estuaries because she's not that deep although you know you can have a lift keel boat which is of course better she was designed by Maurice Griffiths and she was built by Williams and Parkinson in De Ganwy, North Wales in 1936 of pitch pine on oak with copper fastenings so she's a proper old boat it's, oddly enough today you probably couldn't build a boat like this because the kind of forests they're made from are all protected and the, and the way they're fastened with copper uh, is causing an international incident in Zambia <laughs> the Chinese being accused of neo-colonialism trying to snap up the copper trade there and it would cost a fortune of course um, GRP is cheaper to to mould than planks are to, to steam and fasten so we're on a classic well breakfast on board, bacon and eggs um, <laughs> A lot of people ashore say it's unhealthy. It probably is. 
but on a boat in the chill morning there's nothing like bacon and eggs I always call it the caviar of cruising Wendy May has been well looked after the boat is sound and that's why I bought her she needed some superficial attention um, the uh, rails uh, the varnish work had all peeled off. I got rid of it. I cleaned it right off completely and painted them instead because I think the boat looks better and it's certainly easier for maintenance purposes. The mainsail had had it. It was 25 years old. Uh, I sailed with it last season and it started to tear when we were reefed up on the east coast. I had to buy some patching material to do a makeshift repair to get us home. So I've had a new mainsail from Steve Hall at Tolfrin. It's a lovely piece of uh, work it is as well. Um, I've, there's new running rigging I've fitted. I've burnt the bottom off over the winter because the build up of the antifoul was getting quite thick. So I burnt her all off, sanded it all down, and re, and, and re coated her with um, red oxide paint, red lead paint, and um, antifoul. I also chipped the keel, which is cast iron, and, uh, and coated that with an aluminium primer, two coats of that, and then the antifoul over the top. So she's smelling a lot sweeter and I think has a bit of a smile on her face and <laughs> now she's had some attention. So the sort of price you'd be looking at paying for a boat like this, um, which is a well-designed boat from a reputable designer and is in good condition, would be anything from about fourteen to 19000 I would say. Um, I've had to buy new sails, so that's added on about £3,000. Um, it's it's quite a it's quite an outlay, but uh, I think it's 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 not a bit, the kind of boat like this. It is is a pretty good investment if she's sound, and you're likely to to hold your money. Very nice.